community, three classes of people exist, the rich, the middle class, and the poor. With the middle class fast disappearing from societal cadre, leaving the balance with the extremely rich and the poor. These groups are categorized by the standard of living, which Ichito creates a wide gap in between them. In bridging the gaps between these group of people in our society, individuals and group within the communities can do a lot to change the circumstances and conditions of people within their immediate environment by implementing sustainable initiatives to empower the needy in our society. Nowadays, most people think of philanthropists as someone who donates big sums of money. Yet, the word is derived from two Greek words, philos, which means loving, and anthropos, man. All of us are capable of being philanthropists. We can give of ourselves, and the government, on the other hand, supports such initiatives. A leader takes people where they want to go. Great leaders take people where they don't necessarily want to go but ought to be. July 5, 2018 was the day Governor Akiyomi Ambade gave support through the disbursement of grants to CDAs, inclusive Akoka Community Development Association, for our dream of two years to be actualized. This is the first time we'll be receiving such money and uh, we plan to use it uh, very well for the benefit of the community and uh, humanity as a whole. Uh, we'll start a business interest, a car watch. Uh, because for me, the community is going through a lot of uh, things. Every time we need uh, money, we have to start running from house to house. If you can uh, have a business there and the money can generate uh, income for the community, then we know we'll have something to fall back on every time we need uh, uh, money to do. Then uh, that business there can also grow from year to year, and you can create other business interests. And you should know, whatever is accrued from that money can be used for developmental projects within the community, street lights, road, and uh, clearing of drainage within the community. But for us, we don't feel that uh, after five years of this city, we should be running from pillar to post to look for students to do development, uh, developmental program. The idea has been there for two years now. We've been trying, we have cleared the place, we have laid the foundation, but uh, when you don't have money, there's uh, little you can do as a community. But this is a huge money that uh, we believe uh, it will go a long way to put the car watch in place. And it will also generate employment for some of the youth. At least we plan it will employ 10 people at the end of the day. And we want to use the grant very well so that uh, generations coming can remember that uh, when we are giving such money, this is what we want to use it for and this is what we are going to use it for. And I can assure you, in three months' time, we are going to have the car wash in place. Eight months down the line, members of Akoka CDA have come together to celebrate the mission accomplished within three months, with a three-in-one event get towards uplifting the community with an all-inclusive system of community administration emulate from Governor Akumi Ambody's exemplary leadership style. We thank God that... Uh... The project we started, we formally commissioned it today. And we are also able to launch the welfare scheme to take care of uh, the indigent among all the widows and uh, the orphans. The elders for up because we need their wisdom, we need their support, and we need everything about them. It's about uh, a goal you have set for yourself. We set a goal and uh, we thank God that it's coming to pass. This is just the first phase of the project. We have about five phases. This is just the first phase of it. So uh, for me, it has come too late, a year behind schedule. But we thank God that, that it has come to pass. I feel elated, I feel fulfilled. And uh, you know, because it is one thing to have an idea, to mute it, like I said, we've been muting it on, off, on, off. Not because we didn't want to, not because we're not serious, but along the line we had other projects coming in. Like we had the issues of power, that you know, power took almost a whole year. We had each other, you know, road, some terribly bad roads that were going to the council, meeting elders, so all those ones took our time. So, so eventually, but it was still on the burner that this thing must be done. So eventually, we were able to achieve it. That we were able to achieve it, it's, you know, um, it's something of joy. 
and we really glory, give glory to God because. I mean, if not for God, we may not be able to achieve it. Akoka Community Development Association received a grant of 2.5 million naira from Governor Akumi Ambadi's administration with support of voluntary donations from individuals within the community. They achieved this edifice. This project started early last year. It took us three months to complete. We started by, with the initial grant that was given to us by the state government. The state government gave us 1.5 million but as it is, we have spent over three million to do this from the individuals of the community. We did an appeal fund, also sponsored by the CDA. So we got individuals, friends and well-wishers to come and contribute. That was how we did that. Undeterred by what was drawn from individuals' pocket, they contributed more for the welfare scheme. For the ESCOs, we asked them to actually pay 1,000 a minimum of 1,000 every month into the accounts. Our accounts were, was, an account was opened in the name of the, um, the scheme. And we have um, like three, ben, um, three signatories to the account. So that scheme is being run by a single person. So each of the ESCO's member is, uh, is expected to pay at least 1,000 naira monthly. Then subsequently we gave out the flyers where the account number is being written on for people to see and actually contribute. Some who can actually go to the bank, see the ESCO's members, donate, and that was how we were able to raise funds. The car wash is targeted at creating jobs to engage either youth and the welfare scheme to alleviate poverty within the community. The establishment of the Elders Forum as a platform for the elders to meet at regular intervals to chart the way forward for the community is no doubt a commendable initiative. It has changed the face of the community because for me, it's like... Uh, a lot of people don't know that uh, CDA can go into investment. This is part of the investment we are talking about. And two, it will create employment because whether you like it or not, this place is going to employ at least 10 people. The, there will be a manager, there will be six watchers, and uh, the waiting room, some people have to sell drinks. Uh, so minimum or maximum, we have 10 people that this car wash will employ. And it will give them something at the end of every week or at the end of every month. We felt we have to look inward. Number one, two things. Generate money for the community, then empower our youths, most especially. Just And that is what informed some like this car wash. It's a form of generating you know, employment for our youths. Well, the elders' room is... It, 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 we felt that, look, we've seen their wise counsel. We need their, uh, uh, we've seen their advice. So that's why we felt, look, bringing the elders together, let, for them to meet in quarterly, well, when they meet quarterly, they discuss the community. We take issues that I think are beyond us to them. They give us their support, their wealth of advice, and even in most cases they do their financial support as well. Ikolu Nicholas is one of the 12 beneficiaries of the welfare scheme. The septuagenarian is a togolist who moved into Akoka CDA 45 years ago. Like many others, this is a story. My journey to Akoka here now is almost uh, 45 years. April 21st now is 25, uh, 45 years where I was in Akoka here. So I'm a Togolese. So I was here. That time, Mama Elijah said I was, I was before. So when come be that place then i come to stay here see the back of this house so from there now i can stay here so now all my property born for that place so uh the tango say tg must uh this uh cda they help us yeah they do what they can do so i thank god for that we ask people in the community if you know anybody that has issues just let us know. We call them, we go visit them, we interview them. We now make a scale of preference. Like, okay, if let's say this is what we have, let's do for this set of 12. The following month, the ones that we can't accommodate this month, we'll accommodate them next month. Just as Governor Akumi Ambade put smile on the faces of CDAs in Lagos State with the grants disbursement. Akoka CDA leaders have put smile on the faces of these men and women. They express gratitude. I'm happy. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. 
for CDS, uh, what he had done. I thank God. God will give them power so that they will get more strength to do that uh, CDA for this Akoka so that everybody will be happy to Akoka. The beautiful ribbon was brought down to declare the laudable project open. I have my commission the car wash projects built by Akoka CDA with the intervention of the crown of the CDA which was sufficiently financially supported by the Akoka CDA to the glory of God and my account. Amen. Well, uh, I'm not surprised. The, as, we are, as, we, as far as we are concerned in the state, Alka City is the role model city because of what he has employed in the CDA activities and the manner he has been going about it. Uh, it's very encouraging and we have been telling most of our CDAs to learn from what Alka CDA is doing. You know, what we are witnessing today is commissioning of a, a car wash project, which is the project chosen by the CDA. Uh, which earned them uh, grants from the state government. And some of us, we have completed our projects, we have uh, commissioned it, but it took its time to actually do what is necessary, a quality job that will stand the test of time. That's why it's coming up this time. So um, I'm not disappointed of what I see here. Marvelous. Awesome. Anything you can use to describe it. Amazing, fantastic, interesting. I think I'm short of words.